Hello, everybody. So today I'm going to make a short introduction to our main topic, which is the name of the rose and the secrets of medieval libraries. As a matter of fact, we are not going to talk about libraries per se, as um, they are just a collection or well, saying just is, is very uh, unfair, but they are collections of books. And when we are talking about the Middle Ages, of course, they were manuscripts. So they were being written by hand by uh, incredibly gifted, talented and precise monks who, well, they, they created a master piece, uh, well, masterpieces actually. And uh, when you take a look at some of the manuscripts, you can really appreciate how beautiful they are and how many hidden messages uh, there are. And our excuse for talking about this is the name of the rose that you surely know. So, no, so it was written by Umberto Eco, an Italian historian, medievalist, so a person who is interested uh, academically in Middle Ages. So the descriptions are very accurate and the story is also um, very well narrated in a very medieval style. So nothing is um, made by accident. He was a professor of, uh, of, of medieval history. So uh, he really knew what he was doing and what he was writing about. And this style is, um, is very medieval. And one of the materials that I'm sharing with, with you is a fascinating interview with uh, Umberto Eco, uh, where he states that he was always narrating, even when he wasn't writing novels. I think it's really interesting. Uh, and though his accent is pretty heavy, you can hear that he's not a native speaker of English, he's really great and you can understand really well what he's saying. And you can also uh, turn on the subtitles, which are of course in English and they will help you to understand. I think it's really fascinating when you listen um, how he describes his work, how his mind was working, how his novels were being created and that, as a matter of fact, he has always been narrating, uh, even in his academic work. I guess it's, it's, it's really, really fascinating, really interesting and really revealing for us. Uh, of course, we cannot omit a trailer or a few, um, a few parts, a few fragments of the movie itself. Uh, starring wonderful uh, Sean Connery, who passed uh, a few weeks, two weeks ago. I don't know. I'm losing the trace of time. I don't know how it's uh, how how you feel it, but for me, it's really confusing. Um, and yes, and it's it's a actually it's kind of a detective story that is set in the Middle Ages. Exciting, fascinating, uh, and I think when you take a look at it after having uh, read, after having watched uh, all the materials that I'm going to send to you, uh, you'll take, well, you'll see things differently. And as a, well, as a kind of a medievalist my, myself, because I'm really interested in, in, interested in the Middle Ages as a doctoral student, and I'm writing about it, about the literature of the Middle Ages and its influence on the 19th century lit literature. Um, I'm a big fan of manuscripts and I find them so beautiful that sometimes they even make me uh, want to cry, to be honest, because they are so precise, they are so beautiful and we need to remember how limited the 
um, the possibilities in, in, in terms of equipment uh, were of tools, right? And still they were able to draw all those beautiful marginalia or all those beautiful um, illuminations. So it's, it's truly amazing. And there are a few um, scientific short videos uh, that will show you how, uh, how the scientists are um, examining the manuscripts and how they are able to tell, basing on, let's say, chemistry, uh, who might have been the author and where he or sometimes she uh, might have come from basing on the, the type of uh, pigment they were using. So, of course, the pigments were made of, um, of uh, rocks of different kinds of minerals, uh, but not only. <laughs> and, uh, and basing on the place they were coming from, we could say uh, what was the origin of our uh, medieval artist. So it's truly beautiful, it's truly fascinating. And the manuscripts are so fragile that it's amazing that so many of them have uh, survived to, to, to our times. Um, and I also would like you to take a look at the medieval books of ours in the public library of Bruges. So they, there are some uh, wonderful um, actors who are dressed up, uh, dressed up like uh, medieval people. And you can also take a look at those um, book, books of ours, which were prayer books, but for ordinary people, in the sense that people who were not clergy, there weren't priests of, or nuns, but just normal people who wanted to pray. And those books were often so beautifully adorned, so beautifully decorated, that it must have been a truly mystical experience to use something like this to, to pray. Um, and the final uh, short video I, I want you to see is uh, what is a bat tuba and why is it in the medieval art? Uh, it's a short animated film that is really interesting because it's talking about the symbolism in the marginalia, of the marginalia, and but not only in general of the illuminations uh, of the pictures that we can find in manuscripts. And well, the whole thing with marginalia is really interesting. And at the same time, uh, we need to remember that the poor scribes were also people and quite often on the margins of books and manuscripts, we can find uh, some funny remarks or sometimes they, were, they are actually very sad, but some of the monks could Right. Oh my God! I'm so cold. I want to go to bed. I'm so tired. So all those little things that were written on the margins or added later by the owners of the books are really telling, and they make those books and manuscripts uh, well. They make them alive simply. Um, so I personally. So I don't know if you agree with me, but uh, although I, I love books, I respect them, I'll, I value them, I, I have never been against underlining some interesting parts uh, in a pencil. And whenever I um, borrowed a, um, a so book to someone uh, with my little annotations, I I found it interesting to know what they thought about my about the parts that I found so um, found so interesting, and um, the other way around when I took a book from library and I found something written on the margin or underlined, uh, I I always find it 
very interesting, inspiring, and even exciting to follow the trace of thought of, of someone else who was reading the same book. So I think it makes the book alive. I'm not talking about, you know, destroying or drawing stupid or vulgar pictures on the margins, but uh, sharing your thoughts. Okay, so that's it when it comes to my short introduction. I hope that you enjoy uh, the, the short videos. I hope that you um, will read uh, or watch The Name of the Rose if you haven't yet. And well, I hope it was inspiring and you will see the beauty of the medieval libraries and manuscripts because they are truly exceptional and um, wonderful. Thank you so much for your attention. Bye.